Absolutely. At the end of that decade. I think they finally admitted it a while ago that, you know, he shouldn't have made so many hollow foil covers. That and the millions of X-Men number one and x Force number one and Spider-Man number one produced during that hour that wound up just sitting in comic shops not getting sold. Oh, we could sold. Or it got sold to the, to the vendor. I mean, you know, it's going to be sold by the I'm not even kidding. <laughs> But no, back to the topic at hand. Uh, wow, we've got a lot of crap. That happens. Mm. Uh, so, uh, do you want me to kick it off, Tim? Mm. Whatever, whatever you're comfortable with, huh? Hey, uh, I read number one in the, uh, the new issue, the, the new series from Arts Comics, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So this is recently published? Are they just starting a new line? Or? Uh, this is a brand new series. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, issue one came out in uh, October. So is it is it now is it tied into any of the past like television shows? Did they had a cartoon for a while? Well, in, in that there is a character named Sabrina, and she is a witch and a teenager. But not a direct continuity like a reboot of New Fast. No, this no, is no, serious no, stuff, no, man. Aren't you serious stuff? This is serious stuff. Man. This is so how lightly you guys are taking this. This is uh, this is a a. A book in much the same vein as last year's uh, Afterlife of Archie, okay. which, if you remember, was the uh, the essentially uh, what if Archie had to deal with the Walking Dead. Well, this, this, is, uh, this is Sabrina's reboot and a gritty horror cover. And uh, I have a feeling my review of this is going to sound an awful lot like my review of the Humans last week. Okay. Uh, if, if you like this kind of comic, you probably like this. No, but I, I actually did find it uh, find it pretty interesting. Uh, it's it's the story of Sabrina. Uh, it opens with her birth, essentially, and the story of how her uh, her father came to give her up into the care of her aunt. And what happened to her mother? None of which is present. Interesting. Um, so it's like a real school for a form of if Sabrina existed, or, or more of a, a more... It's, it's more the way Sabrina. you remember it, but with a lot more Satanism. Okay. Like overt Satanism? I think it's time. It's a sort of Lovecraftian horror look to it. Yeah, like, it, it, it's got, like, a gritty, old-school kind of horror pulp comic artwork to it. Um, then I wouldn't describe it as pulp myself, but... Well, I mean, a lot of the ground floor in the page that uh, uh, they have open is, um, kind of reminds me of, like, something we would have gotten back in the 50s during the E.C. era. You know, the Atos McCripps kind of art where, you know, a lot of blacks and... Very foreboding and mm-hmm. realistic looking. The uh, Salem. Salem is absolutely terrifying. Was he a fan? No, he's drawn. <laughs> no, he's just a gnarly looking cat. He looks like a, a mangy cat that, that's been like out in the rain for like three days. He <laughs> doesn't look like that cuddly Jim Henson puppet from around.